Hello, everyone. This is Yamina for Dr. GPTR. Welcome to the June edition of the Dr. GPTR monthly newsletter, video edition. And today I'm very excited because I'm going to be talking to Dr. Anthony Picard about the edition GPTR workshop, which we are co-organizing together with Dr. GPTR and the edition GPTR consortium. Anthony, welcome back. Thank you. Thank you, Yamina, for having me back. <laughs> I'm very excited. So let's focus today's video and news for this month about the Edition GPTR Consortium, about this workshop that's coming up October 20 through to 25 in Mexico City. If you can start on introducing us a little bit more about the history of the meeting, and then we'll dive into the website, the registration, and the sponsorships that we're seeking. Anthony. Perfect. Perfect. Yes. So this meeting takes place every two years. So this is like a biennial meeting. This is our, like our big moment for the addition to PCR uh, community. So this is the 11th one. It, it was, it, it had like a hiatus during the pandemic uh, when we went through the ninth and the 10th. So this is really like the 10th, but it was pushed to the 11th because of the, this delay. So historically it started like, you know, a, in a small group in Europe, and then it's been growing, growing more and more. And we have now members uh, from uh, various, various continents, various, various countries uh, throughout the world. And everybody contributes like great science to this, uh, to this community. And basically, the, the, this meeting now in 2024 is going to take place in Mexico City, the first time in a Latin American country, the first time in a developing country, the first time south <laughs> of the borders of the Western world. So it is like something really exciting, of course, for the science here in Mexico, but also exciting also for the rest of the community, which has not had the chance to know what is going on also in Mexico City and in Mexico in general but a uh, it, it since this will gather people from all throughout the world so we're, we're gonna discuss about great science throughout uh, this meeting and hopefully also have great moments together with the community thank you anthony for that fantastic overview and we're excited to be able to partner this is dr gpcr's first ever offline co-partnered event and as you know, we've worked very hard to get the website up and running. I'm gonna start sharing my screen and we're gonna show off the website and have go through the website, explain a little bit about how the website works, how people can register, and at the same time talk about the different aspects that we're planning on using and you know applying to to help people at this meeting. So I'm trying to share my screen. I have to say we're this we've switched from Zoom to Google meet and it has been an adaptation it's a nice platform i love it but it has been adaptation you know when we you've been during covid stuck on zoom and then all of a sudden switching it's a whole other world so anyone and everyone who wants to get to know more about the workshop about the events the program and how to register drgpcr.com or ecosystem.drgpcr.com here at the top we have created an adhesion gpcr button that you can see right here. I hope you can see me pointing. I don't think you can. Do you see me pointing at the screen? No. No. Right. All right. So then I'm going to have to describe top top um, menu. And if you scroll down, you have a description about the venue. You have your register button that takes you directly down to the bottom of the page. The preliminary program we are, we got this week our first two abstracts, which is fantastic. Very exciting. The abstract deadline submission is June 24th. So hurry up. Today is June 7th. How to register for the workshop. So we've created different packages for consortium members, for students, and for industry. You just have to select register. If you're not yet a GPTR ecosystem member, then the idea is for you to come and join us in the ecosystem because with your registration to the Edition GPTR Consortium workshop, Addition GPTR workshop, we're offering you a one year free premium membership. And we will also be putting you into the group that will allow you to meet, discuss, and make travel plans or outing plans with anyone joining us at the workshop. Anthony, how many people do typically go to, to this meeting? Uh, usually, so the last one that was in, in Copenhagen uh, attracted 85 
84, 85 uh, scientists in total. So here in, in Mexico, we, we expect around 60 to 80 uh, because it, it's not proximal to Europe. So some people from Europe might think it's too far, but also we could have the opposite where they might be excited to come to Mexico. So, <laughs> but around <laughs> 60 to 80, more or less. Fantastic. All right, so we can peruse the site. So we have an abstract submission part where you can click here and submit your abstract. We try to define as much as possible what we're looking for, what are the deadlines, so that we can start creating the program together. There will be poster presentations. I don't remember this, but Anthony, how many posters can we could we accommodate? So the, this could accommodate around 60 posters maxima. So we're we're expecting you know post poster deadline is been, is a little bit later than abstract deadline so it goes until like July a twenty second if I'm if I'm not mistaken yeah second round yes perfect and this is also the second round for the abstract uh, the first round is priority for the talks and then if we still have a, a space we're gonna give uh, the chance for the July twenty second a uh, deadline people to apply to so yes what i am loving about the way this meeting and this workshop is put together is that the abstracts the, the oral presentations will be selected out of the uh, of abstracts submitted and it's more or less on a first come first serve basis so it's more of a democratized way and it coincides completely with the way dr gpcr has been running the online events where yeah. If, if, if it's all about the science, it's all about what you bring to the meeting and having a diverse um, set of speakers. Exactly. Yeah, this is very important to us also to really diversify as much as, as possible and also give a chance to a, you know, also PhD students to participate. So this we we uh, put in the program a special a, a special session called the flash presentations, which actually with will uh, help phd students well practice their uh, you know their speaking skills also uh, presenting a, a data to a, a large audience and also just showcase their work you know like a thesis that is ongoing that is basically mm -hmm. not finished yet and there's like preliminary results that they want to show uh, there's something exciting they want to show to to the the rest of the community so this will be the time to do it and actually it would be one of the first time that this has been done i love it i really love it because i think phd students master students and even and even postdocs i think this is in academia in general i think the way i was brought up in science is that when you go presenting you have to have a finished story a finished product that you're presenting whereas when you're at the beginning or in the middle of of, of a project being able to talk about it with colleagues gives you the opportunity to get fresh perspectives and get input, find collaborators, which I think is just phenomenal. Yes, yes, uh, totally, <laughs> I totally agree. It's basically like a live poster, you know, like sometime in a poster you have some preliminary results. Well, this will be like live with some audience in front of you and you have like 50 people that want to ask you yeah. questions about it. So this yeah. is really like a showcasing uh, opportunity. I love it. I very much love it. I think this is wonderful. All right. So we showed the main page, the abstract submission. We also created a travel tips page. Thank you, Anthony, for all the information that you pulled together about the hotels, about the map, and how to get every day to Sindasav and where to stay. This is where the in the green circle where the airport is. What other activities do you have in, in mind for us to be doing? Yes. So basically, there's a, there's a, a, a tour that it, it will be organized on the on the first day. So we're trying to put that together with, with nocturnal, so Mexico City at night. So of course, after this a formal tour, then we can you know have fun and go out in one specific a, a place of the, the choosing at that time. But this will be really like to discover the city, 
when it's still vibrant because it's a 24 hour <laughs> kind of city so it will give the chance to everybody to see it and then on the on the second day we'll have like a networking reception for everybody to be able to to chat to uh, to share information also and also just to you know a shoot the stuff just like that and have fun uh, of course this will be like a follow-up from the previous day so then it, it will just consolidate all these all these networking you know opportunities and on the on the last day well it's gonna be you know like the 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 lift up well the uh, we're gonna say bye yeah. to everybody but also announce the, the 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 place of the next meeting so uh no, that's that's very, very exciting. And, you know, I was thinking since, well, if you think about all the the scientists who work on adhesion GPTRs in, in Europe, North America is not so much, but traveling to Mexico City is is, is a trip, right? And we've created, we've, we're, we've created internal, and I'm going to show this in a minute, a group so that anyone who registers to come to the, to this, to, to the meeting, they get added into this group with the idea that they can ask questions, they can, if they decide to bring their families, their spouses, their children, they'd have the opportunity to create a separate set of activities for the accompanying, you know, adults and potential children in that, in that sense. Yes. Yes. And of course we're there to, you know, give suggestions too. So whatever you, you, you need your family to do something during the day. For example, you're busy at the meeting, just write us and we'll give you the suggestion to, to be able to accommodate your family. There's a lot of activities available here in Mexico city. It's an adult city, but it's also a very young city, but there's a lot of stuff for, for kids. So uh, you can bring the whole family. Everybody uh, will find their share. That's fantastic. We're still building the website and I'm, I keep scrolling up and down because I want to also make a point. So in order to register, you need to be part of the ecosystem. Whenever you uh, sign up to be part of the ecosystem, please make sure that you mention that the Adhesion GPCR Consortium, this way we'll approve your membership very quickly. Then you're going to have to come back here and click and select the package that works for you. And then from there automatically, you get the one year pre free premium membership to the ecosystem. You will get several emails if you want to cancel the premium membership. And in order to make sure that you cancel it if you want to at any time. The other thing is that automatically you will be added to the group. The website is under construction, but at very soon we're going to have a button that says group here. But right now I'm just going to show it to you from here. And Antonia and I are already part of the group. So we have various groups. Uh, we're still working on it. We're wait, waiting for the, for the images to be uploaded. But since Antonia and I are part of the group, you can see who is part of the group here. And anyone who registers will be automatically added here. You can ask questions. You can share information. You can, you know, make plans for spouses, kids, families during the meeting. This is also helpful if we want to potentially coordinate transportation from the hotel to the event itself. So it is absolutely important for everyone to come in here, use this group, get to know each other, especially if you only meet every two years in person. This is we'll, we're going to try and put in content here to make the group as vibrant as possible. But this is the place where we invite everybody to join us. You will be invited to this group. You should get an email that uh, that you need to accept joining this group, but automatically the invitation will go out uh, as soon as you register for the event. Yes, and it's also it's also important to to tell people like the ecosystem really adds value to this meeting. Uh, this is because it's a it's a meeting is it, that is oriented also to kind of. A fulfill or also kind of like a support the career of young researchers and the ecosystem gives you access to a lot of services it can be interviews can be classes so everything to really support the career of a, a early career investigators so 
this is the added value of the ecosystem. So whenever you receive those those emails for the ecosystem, uh, you have like a one year included with this re uh, uh, with this registration. So really take advantage of it. Like really uh, go through the different pages, and you know uh, you'll you'll find a, a lot of inputs from people from the field of GPCRs in general, but also from the addition GPCR field. Thank you, Anthony. And actually, do that to your point. We are updating the site. And as you've seen, we are changing the, the, the cover photos. This is the, the videos. This is the podcast page where whenever you click on the, the picture, it takes you and now you can watch the video on the page. We have also the opportunity to have you as a guest. So anyone who wants to be a guest is more than welcome, independently of where you work, what level you're at. You may not have 25 years of 30, 40, 50 years of experience in the field, but you are an expert at your own project. So that's a great opportunity to join us. The university has courses, the symposia, the different groups. We are revamping everything, but the idea is that the ecosystem becomes the central repository and the center is space, virtual space where everyone, including people from the Adhesion GPCR field to come and connect. So the one year premium member, free premium membership allows everyone to have access to all the content on the website and gives people a time to get to know each other, to you know network if you're looking for a collaborator, if you're looking to, to find a postdoc or a PhD lab, this is the right place. As you see, we have a members chat little button here, which it only means, well, it, it, you can click on it and you can chat with anyone who is also a premium membership in the ecosystem. So you don't have to remember the person's email or look for the business card that you lost at the, you know, in the in, in your bag. You can just come here and then click and then find the name the person's name and then you know have a conversation and move to to a Zoom. But that's that to my knowledge, that's what I want we wanted to show. Actually, we're gonna have a sponsor. We already have a sponsor prospectus. See, I'm talking here, but I remember that we have a sponsor prospectus here where we are offering the opportunity for sponsors to come and join us during the meeting. They get different benefits. Just email us. I'm using here the hello at Dr. GPCR email, but we do have an addition GPCR consortium, addition GPCR workshop at gmail.com email that both Anthony and I are managing that people can come and you know email us. Anthony, I will ask you one other question because I saw the, the logo concept. So tell us a little bit more about the history and yeah. uh, the logo concept. Yeah, so this year we wanted to have also people participate in kind of a, like a fun way to the meeting. So we decided to, to have this a logo contest uh, that would actually be then a like you know like the the main image of the of the of the meeting so it would be maybe some merch printed with this with this logo so the logo has to be based on the country where basically the meeting is taking place so this is mexico city so we wanted to have like elements of mexico in in there and this is this year well it's based on Alebrijes, which are like a folkloric, a chimeric creature creatures that were created basically like the on the on the past century, it, which basically are like a compounded compounded animals. You know, you can have like the ears of a rabbit, the the head of a of a turtle, and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So this is part of the culture here in Mexico City, and also at that. Period, that period of the year that the, the meeting will be taking place, which is October, it's basically nearly approaching the Day of the Dead. And this is when the Alibriers also are a showcase, a showcase a, throughout the city. And you have this big avenue in Mexico City called Re Reforma, which where they have all the Alibriers, so you can go and have a tour with the kids. It's really fun because they are basically like, a 12 feet tall, sometimes more. So, but they show this big, everything is very colorful and everything means something. So this is part of the culture. And also it has to, the logo has to merge with Addition GPCR. So you can incorporate in your logo, Addition GPCR shapes or a, a signaling significance, whatever you want, but it has to merge 
both. So the element of culture of Mexico City and the element of science that is the addition GPCR. So this is some some sort of fun. So we already received like a few uh, logo uh, proposals. We're waiting for more, of course. And uh, of course, go uh, free on this, like, you know, don't let your creative mind be stopped by any any limit. And the price, of course, is a, a, a free registration for the person that actually a, will be selected for their logo and more. We're not seeing what the, the rest is, but there, there's, there's going to be more too. <laughs> the, the, the secret list <laughs> that yeah. we're we're keeping to, and we're going to reveal it to the person uh, that actually the, to the to the person who gets voted for the net best logo. So the one thing I forgot to ask is how will the winner be picked for the logo contest? Uh, I will. I mean, was... How will the winner be picked for the logo contest? Oh yes. So this will be selected through like a, a internal committee of a students. And a, basically, it's going to be very democratic, also. And the the one that look better is going to be the one yeah. that. <laughs> yes. I love it. I love it. No, I love it. I think this is great. And yes, I can confirm that we did received a couple of uh, logo logos. And I was well, well, I was I just saw that we received more abstracts uh, that came in today. So people are actually working on writing those abstracts again the abstract submission deadline is june 24th to be considered for all our oral presentation and then july 22nd for poster presentations and the oral presentations include the flash talks exactly so students hurry up and submit your 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 abstract before june 24th we've also added a button here that's called newsletter and we're going to be adding in here the Adesion GPCR Consortium newsletter editions because we're collaborating, obviously, with the consortium. And the consortium has newsletters that came out. I urge everyone to come here and read the story. Uh, it's an interview with you, Anthony. So if you can expand a little bit on how this interview took place. Yes. So basically, the, this a newsletter is a kind of like, house to the Vision a GPCR consortium a website and also the network and the people that are in charge of it is Nathan and Sumit and two very valuable members of the the consortium which basically every once in a while they put together a, a newsletter and this one it was made specifically for this, uh, this meeting to basically announce the Mexico City uh, meeting in uh, October. And basically here I talk about very freely, you know, like it's very, it's like no, no hold, you know, no, no limit. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and you're going to see really on to, throughout the interview, I, it basically how I speak. So it came out on the paper and I give a, a little bit of, of, of uh, the, the background story or my background story, how I, I get to the addition GPCR field, uh, which is a, a more serious subject, but also something more fun on basically like my favorite taco or, you know, the type of music people dance to and stuff that also you shouldn't miss if you come to Mexico City. So these are my three choices that I put in there. Of course, there is like 50 or 60, but this is basically like just to give you like a little bit of spice to attract you to this meeting. Now, I love it. I think this is great. So I, I know we're coming up at time. Take home messages, Adesion, 11th Adesion GPCR workshop, Mexico City, October 23, 25. Abstract submissions for oral presentations deadline is June 24th. You get to register on our website. You must be an ecosystem member. It's free to join the ecosystem. When you register, you will get a premium one-year membership for free. You will get access to the groups where you can exchange information with everyone who's coming to the meeting. This is a private group. Only those who registered to the meeting are going to be giving given access to that and i'm excited to meet you in person in mexico city in october Anthony, did i forget anything else i think we covered everything you know just to say uh, of course a thank you to the sponsor that i already uh, been sponsoring the, the yeah. event and also the the this format is available to everybody so we want everybody to participate so even the sponsorship 
the opportunity is given to everybody. If you want to contribute five dollars, ten dollars to the to the meeting, uh, this is available. We have a button for that also on the side. So it's really a democratic way of organizing this this meeting. We're trying a lot of things are, are new and also new to us as organizers, <laughs> but we hope like everybody will enjoy and really join this community and enjoy the science and in this case enjoy the city also. Thank you. Thank you, Anthony. What I was thinking of doing when, uh, is that we can come back be right before the deadline for the abstract submission in July and then give another update, a video update to everyone as to how the program looks like, what else is there. And um, I think this, this would be a wonderful follow up for our conversation today. Totally, totally. Yeah, that, that would be like on point. <laughs> exactly, exactly. All right. Thank you, Anthony. I'm going to stop recording. This was the video edition of the June 2024 Dr. GPCR monthly newsletter. And Anthony and I, we can chit chat a little bit longer and let people wonder what we're talking about. <laughs> exactly. Thank you, Anthony. Bye bye. <laughs>